previously on Bimbo in the Desert. Get at least three of your colors to like you before this day is over. Hospitality. Please, just tell them you like me, okay? But you must do something for me first. Um, Maha sent me to get Betty back. You're my new best friend. <laughs> this boy's boy in love with me. He's an easy target. target. What time is it? You look so cute when you fell asleep. I just couldn't wake you up. Come on, guys. Somebody of you gotta like me. I like you. But what's the assignment? Neither Maha nor Elsa is your colleague. You are no longer welcome here. I'm giving you three seconds. Okay, okay. Elsa could be right. My people could be out here. My kidnappers. Kidnappers? What if they wanted me to die? So what happens when they find me alive? Huh? <gasps> no, there's no one there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yes. Are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna kill me? Uh, you're weird. Huh, I was gonna tell you the same thing. But you're a giant- I do have a name! Where's your manners? Didn't your mama never teach you those things? Uh, alright. What's your name then? W-T-F. Oh! Really? What does it stand for? Wanda Terry Felicia. That's beautiful. Ah, uh, just kidding. My name's What the Fuck. <laughs> no way! That's like the coolest name ever. How can that be your name? Well, that's not exactly my name, but rather a nickname. Everyone calls me that for some reason. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. What's your name then, Barbie girl? Aliana Geneve. But, um, what is your real name then? I wish I could answer that, my friend, but I've been out here so long I can't recall most things anymore. The sun must have burned up my brain or something. You mean you are just like me? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably not. You got bigger boobs and I got bigger lips. But I mean, I also can't remember most things. I woke up in this desert a week ago. That's my earliest memory. Are you serious? How did you survive that long? Because I got kidnapped by some Arab people to their village. How did you survive that long? Probably because I stayed away from those numbnuts. You know them? Ah, sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I wasn't supposed to. Why don't you go back to them? You crazy? I ain't going back there no more. Just look how I ended up. They made you that way? They might meet as lonely, yes? They threw me out here to die. Such people have no conscience. Why did they throw you out? I don't know. They like to throw people out, I guess. You really should go back there, you know? Wait, what's that? One second you say they're numb nuts, then you say I ought to go back You're to them? You're still something new and fresh. They haven't grown tired of you yet. Something tells me you'll find a reason to go back. Far from a home she's never known With no more products for her Wait, before we keep talking, I must ask you something extremely important. Do you have any clothes? Seriously, these are getting kind of gross. Now, silly me, why would you have clothes? Of course I have clothes. I'm not perfect. How can you have clothes? You ain't got no body. Or is it invisible? Why? Well, I would be naked, 
but I would get sued, so I mean, what was I supposed to do? Whatevs. Can I borrow some? Got any makeup? Yeah, you spend pretty much on lipstick, don't you? I do. It's probably what got me homeless. <laughs> I think I spend too much money on it. <laughs> Anyways, you can find it behind the rock. Date what you need, it's yours. Really? Thanks! Oh, no body bag, please. <laughs> Trust me, nobody's got a better sense of style than me. I'm the most fabulous mom at this side of the desert. Uh-huh. Not anymore! You wanna be on top? Wanna be on top? I'm ready now. Let's head back to the village. Not even Mr. Boy can resist me now. They're the only ones who can help me get home. So let's go. Will you help me? Calm your tits, Valeria Lukyanova. Before I go anywhere near those know-it-alls with you, I need to be sure you've done nothing wrong. Are you completely sure you're innocent? Think about it carefully. Did you do anything wrong? Hmm. No. I'm perfect. Uh, Come on, let's go. Hold on two seconds. One, two, bye. Hey, stop fooling around, Eliana. This is serious. These people need to be argued with. If you want to have a chance to regain their trust, we need to tell them arguments to why you deserve to stay. That's why you need to think. Did you do anything stupid, mean, or embarrassing? Please. Um... There was this one tiny, tiny little thing. A little incident first day after work. Welcome back from work, Aliana. I just realized we never took the time to introduce ourselves. We are the scouts of the village in service of the king. Our job is to scout the area for intruders and determine the appropriate action when so occurs. That is why we were obliged to bring you here. My name is Aisha Soet, and I am the leader of the Scouts Department, together with Isa, who is also the King's Counselor. I am responsible for the execution of our daily patrolling, and it is my job to monitor every outsider during their stay at our village. So, before you go anywhere outside of the village again, and if you need anything, you have to contact me. Understood? Now, can everyone please introduce themselves? My name's Elsa. Elsa Fry. Welcome to the village. My name is Yasmin Yumajik. Um, yeah. My name is Rachini Tenoshi, and I will be your biggest nightmare if you even think about breaking the rules. Good. Now, let's show her to her home. Right this way. Filming the market! Here is your humble but cozy residence. It's not big, but I hope Seriously? you will Seriously? The windows? What's this? A shop window? Like, are people gonna wanna buy me? What am I supposed to do for sexy times? I need some goddamn curtains. I'll use this. Ah! <laughs> Give me my clothes back! You must not do that when everyone can see through your windows. We have to be covered. Grr, you racist! Racist? What's that again? A racist is a person who doesn't like a religious clothing or something else about religion. That is the definition of a racist. No, that is wrong. A racist is a person who thinks the Western world is better Stop! than- Stop! You're all wrong! A racist is a white man who likes himself. I think. I respectfully disagree. A racist is someone who puts a face on a chocolate cake. <laughs> no, that's absurd! A racist is-
Okay, the bottom line is, a racist is someone who you don't agree with in an argument. You can call them a racist because lately people use that word however they please. Hmm, maybe that's why we're so confused. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's hard to catch up with the latest trends sometimes. <laughs> okay, but what's up with the cloth thingy? Why do you have to walk around in that all the time? Isn't it too hot for that here? Uh, well, we wear it because God wants us to cover up what he created. Oh, so it was like a mistake. Okay, first of all, they're confused. Racism is the belief that all members of each race possess characteristics, abilities, or qualities specific to the race, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another race or races. Ah, but I guess it ain't easy for them to know things when they live so secluded. Ah. Oh. And second of all, if that was the worst thing that happened, now you're good to go, girl. Um, it didn't exactly stop there. You see, there was kind of an accident. <laughs> <sighs> Let's just leave this topic now. Do you have any immediate questions before we go? Yeah, yeah. Where do I eat? And... Where do I poop? You can buy your food at Naveen's market stand and then heat it on the stove. And, uh, Ratchini, why don't you take it from here? You poop in a box. Ew! No, it's disgusting! Never! Just no way I'm doing that! Good luck holding it. I refuse to join your scout club. Four days later. Are you okay? Ugh, yeah, I'm awesome. No, you're not. Don't worry, I put high doses of laxatives into her breakfast. Oh god, is she okay? I might have put in too much. Liana, that's the bathtub! No! This is so immature. Holy mother of Gandalf! Ah, oh, jeez, all right. Uh, I can't imagine how anything would ever be worse than that. <laughs> I certainly hope not, but if there is anything more, uh, it's technically still not rule-breaking, so if there is anything else... Uh... You know what? Why don't you just tell me the whole story from the beginning to the end? How about that, huh? Tell me everything that's happened since you woke up in the desert. Here we go. I woke up a week ago in the middle of nowhere, and I didn't know where I was or who I was, so I panicked and had to get attention by stripping that no one was warning, so I walked alone until I reached this place and rested before I drank perfume that almost killed me. And then I found an oasis guarded by some camels and people on them, and they tried to boss me over, so I kicked the leader because she was a bitch to me, and then there came another bitch, and we pitched about it, and then another bitch suggested that he kidnapped, so I got a death like some bitch. <gasps> I was taken to that village where they told me the stupid rules, and we went to a place to talk to the king, but he wasn't home, so I went shopping, and I met this guy who sounded crazy about me. And that led me to this moment, talking to you, the end. Hmm, thank you for the detailed story, but do you really need to tell me those detailed descriptions of your sexual fantasies about Mergam? <laughs> That's pretty cakey stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, cut to the chase. Will you help me, please? I think I'll be able to help you. Alright, let's call it a deal. I'll help you now, and you owe me one. Remember that. Awesome! Come on, let's show them. Uh, what did they say would happen if you came back? They would blow my brains out. Why? Uh, then we're taking a great risk. Hmm. Uh, I just hope that when this day is over, we will both still be alive. Listen 
up, it's my time to shine. I am the what the fuck. I finally got to meet his apparent queen of the show. But I'm taking over the spotlight from now on. <laughs> Sorry, but you will have to get used to me. Unless I die in the next episode. Well, Yana, for that sake. If it has to be one of us, take her for crying out loud. For Christ's sake, she's out of time already. Nah, just kidding. I like that chick. She and I seem to have pretty much in common, actually. It'll be interesting to see if we can bone those stiffies in the next episode. But if you want to see that, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If uh, this is me breaking the fourth wall, don't you like that? Oh, what you gonna do about it, huh? Try to stop me. Uh, anyways, I gotta go now. Have a big kiss from me. Mwah.